Hello everybody, I wanted to give you a preview of some of the stuff that I've been working on here in my robot lab in anticipation for the uh, Solar and Lucene conference that is uh, going to be happening in Montreal. Uh, Interlinked. <laughs> Stop listening. Um, <clears throat> and a um, couple of things I want to talk about. So, so my background is in search engines and, and I've been working with uh, search engines now for almost like 15 almost 20 years and so one of the things that I really wanted to bring to my robot lab uh, to the InMove community is uh, a good solid information framework and architecture for for building what I'm, I'm starting to call a cognitive uh, robotics platform and by that I mean uh, the ability to um, interactively teach uh, a robot have it learn from you uh, have it remember things that you're doing. So there's there's been a, a few sort of things that um, let's take a look here. I'll give you a quick little diagram, just you know, from a technology perspective. What we're looking at is that at at the core is our memories, and, and I'm using Solar, the open source search engine, to store quote unquote memories. Um, there's the language processing center of the, the brain, which we're using program AB. There's the visual cortex for image recognition, um, partly, uh, which we're using deep learning for J. And then there's the uh, sort of other census, um, motor control, Arduino, a little bit off scope for this conversation, but uh, you know, speech recognition with WebKit, speech recognition, uh, you know, video capture from the OpenCV project and uh, speech synthesis for text-to-speech. Uh, so what happens when we take all of these technologies and mash them up together? One of the, the goals is to be able to <clears throat> interactively communicate with the robot, answer questions, uh, teach it, and uh, hopefully have it remember things going forward. Um, one thing that I want to point out is that we, we've gone ahead and Wikipedia is a fantastic resource in that all of the data and all the articles on Wikipedia are freely available. You can download them. Uh, so we, we've got uh, some, some code in my robot lab that allows us to build an index locally, offline, uh, of, of Wikipedia. And um, we, we built what we call a natural language understanding system. Uh, you hear the company I work with, KMW Technology, to to um, answer questions. So <clears throat> rather than handcrafting answers in AIML, we uh, have hijacked the uh, recursive call out, the SREIX uh, AIML tag to call out to it. So we can answer certain questions like, who is HAL 9000? HAL 9000 is a fictional character and the main antagonist in Arthur C. Who is Arthur C. Clarke? Sir Arthur Charles Clarke. The 16th of December 1917, the 19th of March 2008, was a British science fiction writer, science writer and futurist, inventor, undersea explorer, and television series host. Mm. So you get a sense of some, some basic question and answering that actually now is being powered by a search against Wikipedia, which is kind of neat. Uh, nice thing is that that's been translated into a lot of different languages around the world. Uh, we hope to expand upon this. Uh, that is actually not what I'm really excited to show you about here. What I want to show you is the ability to interactively teach the robot, introduce the robot to people uh, in a way that will allow it to uh, recognize new people. And in order to do this, what we're, we're using is we're using the YOLO filter, which is you only look once. And um, what this basically does is it looks at a, an image and it tells you things like it sees a person, a TV monitor, a chair, gives you probabilities and whether or not it, it really thinks that that's what it is. Um, problem is this is only one of 80 classes. So <clears throat> in order to subclassify, um, we're applying uh, a secondary neural network, um, which is the VGG16 neural network to subclassify, uh, for example, what a person is. So right now you see that it's recognizing me as a person, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna train this InMove to recognize uh, some of the, the InMove builders around the world that have been, been building the InMove. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'm gonna use just pictures uh, that I found on, on Facebook in order to achieve this. 
and we want to do this very interactively so we're actually just going to talk to the robot and introduce his name is Kevin learning Kevin so what should be happening now Done is recording Kevin. Kevin. great uh, what should be happening now is that it's taking the next you know 25 or so pictures uh, of me interlinked and it's saving these pictures uh, interlinked to, to recognize me in the, the future. We're going to use these images that have been saved. Interlinked. And you see I'm kind of like moving around and, and what's happening is the uh, YOLO filter is detecting me and um, it is uh, cropping the image and just saving what it sees and, and labeling it as, as Kevin. So let's teach it some other people. Interlinked. His name is Greg. Learning Greg. Done recording, Greg. Okay. His Interlinked. Name, his name is Mots. Interlinked. His name is Mots. Interlinked. His name is Mots. Learning Mots. Interlinked. You can see I can Done hear. recording, Mots. Cool. Interlinked. His name is Anthony. Learning Anthony. Interlinked. Done recording Anthony. His name is Wilco. Learning Wilco. Done recording Wilco. His name is Marcus. Learning Marcus. Interlinked. Done recording, Marcus. His name is Gail. Learning Gail. Done recording, Gail. Okay. So now we've, we've taught the robot. We've given them 25 examples of who all these people are. And we're going to ask the robot to build a new transfer learned neural network model to classify these these people. Interlinked. Build a person model. I'm going to bring the, the logs up here so you get a chance to see a little bit of what's going on. Um, the first thing in the logs is that it's actually doing a query to find documents that represent all of the people that we just taught it and that the labels of those people and these are randomized and it's going to apply transfer learning from VGG16 and deep learning for J and it prints out here the structure of what the neural network was so previously it was able to, to classify I think a, a thousand different objects in the output layer we go ahead and we are removing the output layer and we're replacing it with a new layer that has uh, only seven outputs because that's the number of people that it understands. Um, all of these layers are going to be held frozen except for the last output layer, which instead of having to train 134 million uh, parameters, now we've only got to train about 28,000. So it's gone through about five iterations of the training data set. The first pass through, it's printing out what's called a confusion matrix. Um, it, it, it achieved about a 55% accuracy. And on the second pass through here, uh, it's achieved a 98% accuracy based on, on the training data set. You can see the only one that it got a little bit confused of was, uh, was Greg in that sometimes it thought Greg and Mott's were the same maybe because they're wearing the same shirt, for example. Um, and it's saving out that model now. And uh, as soon as it's uh, done, it should tell us that it has finished recompiling its visual cortex. And I didn't hear it say that, but it, it is actually working. Recompiling my visual working. cortex. Oh, interlinked. Okay. Interlinked. 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 <laughs> um, so it kind of seems to be favoring me in this photo but let's let's do this and let's say who do you see are you still listening here we go who do you see i see gavin 
who do you see? I see Greg. Who do you see? Null. Oh, let's try that again. Who do you see? Interlinked. Who do you see? I see mods. Who do you see? I see Anthony and mods and Anthony. Oh, that's Interlinked. Picking up the person in the background thinks it's also Anthony. Interlinked. Who do you see? Who do you Interlinked. See? Who do you see? I see Wilco. Who do you see? I see Marcus. Interlinked. Who do you see? I see Gail. Awesome. Interlinked. So, I was having a bit of a tough time here picking me up. Uh, it, it's actually thinking that Marcus is me and, and Gail is me because really there weren't a lot of uh, example images. I only, this is only 25 example images. So, so let's go ahead and we're going to retrain the model to improve this recognition and see how it goes. Interlinked. His name is Marcus. Learning Marcus. And we're going to give it another 25 images of Marcus here. Interlinked. Done recording Marcus. And we're going to give it some more images of Gale too. So. Interlinked. His name is Gale. Learning Gale. Done recording Gale. Build a person model, and again, it's going to go through and, and do the the transfer learning thing, where it's got the the VGG sixteen model, and uh, it's going to start training it. There's a very small set of examples here. Um, the first pass through this time was about fifty nine percent. Second pass through, it thinks it got to about ninety four percent classification, and um, in a moment here, it should say that it uh, has finished uh, loading or recompiling its visual cortex. It's a fancy term. And uh, with any luck here, in a moment, it will... Okay. And uh, now, with any luck, we've given it a few more examples. Who do you see? Come on. I think it's saving out the model now. It's about a about a half gigabyte for for recompiling the... my visual cortex. Right. Interlinked. 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 <laughs> interlinked. Interlinked. I see Gail and Marcus. Interlinked. Interlinked. Very interlinked. Good. Who do you see? I see Gail and Marcus. Very good. Who do you see? Who do you see? I see Gail. Who do you see? I see Marcus. Who do you see? I see Wilco. Who do you see? Interlinked. Who do you see? Interlinked. Interlinked. Who do you see? I see Anthony and Anthony. Who do you see? I see Gavin. Oh, well now it's forgotten who I am. Who do you see? I didn't find the answer. Interlinked. Who do you see? Interlinked. Who do you see? I see Mots. Good. Who do you see? Interlinked. Who do you see? Null. Who do you see? Interlinked. Who do you see? Who do you see? I see Marcus. I'll try that one again. Sorry, Greg. Who do you see? 
Who do you see? I see Gavin. Who do you see? No. Who do you see? Interlinked. 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 Hello. Hi. Who do you see? I see Greg. Thank you. Okay, well, <clears throat> as you can see, more examples uh, improve the recognition, and uh, this is just a, a real simple example where we've gone ahead. I can, this model has been saved out. Uh, when I restart my robot lab, it's going to remember these people. Um, so, this is just a, a quick little introduction of what we've been doing. I hope you liked it, and uh, I look forward to sharing more with you soon. Interlinked. Interlinked.